and I wanted to give a try. I've been watching Beth on Bourbon Creek Crafts and she does Kill a Paper Pad and that has really motivated me into going into my stash and seeing what I have and trying to use up the whole paper pad. So this video is what I made with um, this Bow Bunny 6x6 six six, uh, silver and gold collection paper pad. So um, there's 36 pages in this paper pad and this is everything that I made with it. Of course I used extra things but um, I'm going to go through everything that I made and uh, leave any links below as to where I got any ideas and stuff like that so stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Okay, so the very first thing that I made was a 6x6 mini album and that's kind of the first thing that I like to make out of all my paper pads is a mini album of some kind. And so this is the one I made. I did have one sheet of the silver and gold 12x12 paper that I did use in this album, so that's the front and back cover and then various pieces inside and then uh, we have these poinsettias are actually, I think I just bought them in the floral department of whatever craft store I was in. It might have been Michael's, it could have been Michael's, so. And then these are some plastic uh, Prima poinsettias that I got ages and ages and ages ago. And it came with these gold holly leaves as well. Um, there's a Prima frame, resin frame. And then a little bee, I think it's little bee, uh, deer head. I'm just gonna double check that one. Yes, little bee. So they are, uh, they come in a package of six and they're all these little deer heads. Some have gold antlers, some have silver antlers, so I use the gold antlered ones just to kind of keep in theme with my, my album. Okay, so then on the spine, it's just some cardstock that's been embossed over top like a piece of black cardstock that holds it together. And then I've just got some Dollar Tree bling on the edge and uh, an I Am Roses uh, poinsettia here. And then we'll go into it. So this album is one that I created. I have instructions in my Etsy shop for this album, to make this album. It, the cover shows, um, I'll just grab my instructions here. So it's called the Butterfly Mini Album. Uh, it's a PDF file that I have in my Etsy shop, so once you purchase it, it's just downloadable. Um, yeah, so it's called the Butterfly Mini Album. And with it, you have, um, you have your list of what you need, and then step-by-step -step instructions on how to put it together. Uh, and then, oops, <laughs> all my sticky notes. And then there's also a page where it just gives you each page so you can kind of see how it's decorated and you can go from there to decorate your own. And then it comes with templates. This one does. It comes with templates so that you don't have to measure anything. You can just cut these out, trace it onto your paper, mark little score lines or whatever, and and do it that way. So, and if you do like to cut, the measurements are on each one as well. So yeah, you get all the templates for each, each of the um, items on the on each page. But anyways, enough of that. I will leave a link in the in the description box below to to uh, guide you to it if you wish to purchase it. Um, so the first page we have this little pocket here and a flip up page here. So it goes like that. And then you just have a photo mat here with some decorations. And in here, two photo mats, and this is open on this side so that you can stick a photo on here without it interfering with the size and stuff like that. And then on this page, we have another little pocket here where you can put your photo in journaling. Of course, you would probably want to put white paper down if you were journaling. I'll probably put a photo on there. 
And then the next page is another photo mat with some decorations and another pocket. And this is also a little bee. Um, one of those dimensional stickers or whatever. And then we have some K and Company. All these um, holly leaves and pine leaves are all K and Company. And this is... <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, Petaloo. These are Petaloo um, poinsettias. So I've used all mine. <laughs> um, and then we have the next page, which is just a photo mat on this page, and two smaller photo mats on this page with your with one of the deer and all those K and Company three dimensional stickers. And then again, just a photo mat. And then here is another one of these flip pages and this album went together really really fast so so I really enjoyed making it. I hadn't made one for a while um, and I always make the other one like the yeah a different one that I have on my my Etsy shop. I always make that one and I didn't realize how nice this one actually was until I brought out the instructions and and made another one so so that's the album and then the next thing I made with the paper pad was these pencil and notebook or notepad um, uh, gift sets. So I will leave a link to, I think it's Lyric Lover, I'm not sure what the numbers are behind her name, but it's Lyric Lover, Lover and she does a lot of craft sale items and she's got some really great ideas on there so I will leave a link to her channel on where she makes these and I just made my own little notebooks and um, just glued them together with um, some Elmer's glue and and just a decorative thing on the bottom and tied it together with some ribbon this back in there. Let's see if I can get it back in. Actually, it's easier to do it this way. Okay. Okay, so then we have this one that's got some nice gold. And then the, the pencils I just bought at the Dollar Tree. You get the big packs of 12, I think. And then here's a holly leaf one. And then we have some more of the decorative papers. And trees. And a stripe. So I made five of those. And then the next thing on my list was these. These are um, notepad holders. They're laminated and I will also leave a link where I got this. I think it was... Mm, I can't say. I'm not sure where I got it, but I will leave a link as to who um, who I got these, the instructions for these. And so I just used some of the leftover papers and then laminated it and then it's got a Dollar Tree notepad that slides in like so. I am doing a craft craft sale in a couple of weeks so I'm busy trying to get as much as I can made so um, so yeah this is one of the projects that I was doing so again we have just this and I used these um, stickers from the Dollar Tree uh, they come I'm in a package like this, so um, I really I really liked the way these stickers looked. So I did use quite a few on this project of using this paper pad. So they came from the Dollar Tree last year, so I don't know if they still have them at the Dollar Tree. But anyways, here's the four uh, of the notepads that I made, the laminated notepads, and then. Uh, I also have these, kind of with the leftover scraps 
uh, there was a lot of leftover scraps and so I made these are a sticky note matchbook holder so there's there's some sticky notes in here and then it's just put together like a matchbook and then I just decorated them up with a, a little image so I made quite a few of those with just strips of leftover paper from the pad and the image that I that I have it's all the same image I it was just one of the um, public domain vintage vintage images that you can find online so I just I just downloaded or I just copied a bunch just to cut out with my punch so that's where I got those and then last but not least I out of the remainder of the scraps or most of the remainder there was a point where I just decided okay I've had enough <laughs> so I made a whole bunch of cards and uh, so so yeah there's just a strip of the paper there and then more of those stickers so I just um, matted it on some white cardstock and just made some cards so we have this one I made two of this design and then there's this one which I just made one and then there's two of these ones two of these ones and then two of these ones and by this time I was just ready to call it quits I think I got I think I got a lot out of this paper pad so considering it was just a six by six paper pad I think I got quite a bit and of course I used uh, regular cardstock I was using black cardstock for most of it and then white cardstock for the cards so that is what I made from this silver and gold uh, bow bunny collection um, I don't know when I bought this it was years ago like I said I'm working through my stash so a lot of my stash is very old so um, yeah so if you have this one in your stash this is some of the things you, you could make with it so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again next time bye